Hey there folks, this is Dan Bell with Intrigent and this short video is just going to go over how to connect the Microsoft Project desktop with your Microsoft Project Online Project Web App um, tenant, okay, um, with your instance rather. So here is my Project Web App, right, and there is the URL for it. It's the Project Web App uh, request instance within Project Online. And what I want to do is be able to connect my Microsoft Project desktop to this so I can begin creating projects and publishing them to this instance. And what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to just copy this URL, right? So rather than having to type it in to Microsoft Project, I'll just select it, copy it. Now I'm going to launch Microsoft Project. It's right there. And I'm just going to select to connect to my computer. Um, once it's launched, I need to have a blank project in the workspace in order to be able to perform this function of creating an account. Once this is created uh, with a blank project, I select File, Info, and then select manage accounts. As you can see, I already have a few accounts created here to other instances I have. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select to create another account with the add button. And the first thing I do is I specify a descriptive name. This is for you, right? So you type something in here that makes sense to you. Then you take that URL that you copied from the Project Web App instance just a moment ago. And again, everything up until the first segment after the word sites is typically what you're going to select. If you're unsure what it is, just go ahead and ask your admin, IT administrator. They'll tell you what it is. Click OK. Um, I always leave this radio button, the when starting radio button, to choose an account for a couple reasons. Number one, I have numerous instances I connect to, number one. And then number two, occasionally I do want to connect just to my computer and use Microsoft Project in a disconnected kind of state. Click OK when I'm done. Uh, now you have to exit Microsoft Project and then launch Microsoft Project again. And now you will select the instance you just created or rather the connection you created, which will connect us to that instance of Microsoft Project Online. Click OK. And now we're going to connect and you'll verify this in just a moment. Right, so there, now we're connected. And if I select File Open, you can see there is the connection we just created. I can click on that, click Browse and I can double click on show me the list of projects and I'm not going to see anything because I don't have any projects in here yet and I can also confirm that by going to the instance here clicking on the project tile and it basically says here's project center to get started at a project so what I can do you just to do this real quick here right create a blank project task one task two task three task four no big thing here I'm just going to keep it super simple. And I'm going to select to <clears throat> save it. Demo project 100. Click save. This is only saving it, right? So you can see it's synchronizing it down here. Save 0% complete. And then what I want to do after this is select file info. Publish. Publish is what's actually going to take this information from the project and all the underlying data that you don't see and push it out to the cloud and that way we'll be able to see it in project web app so when you hear me say project web what i'm referring to is the actual web component you can see publish completed successfully uh, web components so this out here is actually pretty much called project web app click on projects again there's demo project 100 All right so we click on the name and that will bring us in to see the info for the project there's task one two three four all of the tasks are there. We'll close out of it. <clears throat> Go back to Microsoft Project. I'm going to close out of the project here. Select File, Close. Do I want to check it in? Yes, I do. Now, if I were to select Open again, click on Project Request, click on Browse, I can see that that one project does show up. And there it is. And that's how you create a connection to your project online instance with Microsoft Project. Thanks folks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos in this Getting Started with Microsoft Project Online series. If you have any requests, don't hesitate to reach out. Happy to help. Thanks, have a great day, bye now.